Hello everyone, my name is Jesse, and welcome back to some more Generation 3 Bakugan leaks. Uh, first off, I want to apologize if you hear my dogs in the background. They're playing, and I can't stop them. They're they're going nuts out, out there. You can probably hear them now. I don't know, yeah, but you'll probably hear them throughout the video. Just, just give them an ignore. Uh, they're just playing. But, I wanted to... Go over some new leaks because these are huge leaks like i was waiting for for some good leaks and they finally came because there have been some that have been like trickling out and they're very similar to the ones we've already gone over on the channel but these are brand new so let's jump into it so first off we have a different attribute or different color of one of the previous leaks back who gone from the other video uh this one was darkest and now this one is like aquas i guess i i don't know exactly how to describe it but we can see the card a little bit more clearly here um got the design there which is really really good i am i am appreciating this black on blue on red color uh, and then here's the bakugan uh not sure if this one's been identified yet but as you can see we've got places for nano uh it looks like um and then, yeah it's just a whole different color so we know we're getting different attributes at least right um so that's like the smallest leak I want to cover. We're going to go over the big leaks next. So we got character like card reveals. And this is where things get a little meh to me. Um, so if you've seen the, the earlier leaks, um, the cards can come apart now. Um, so I didn't really cover that on the channel because it got leaked like the same day I posted my video. Um, but the, the these cards can like split apart and... These pictures are a bit grainy, but we can finally see Dragonoid. So we have, these look like similar cards, but they seem like different powers. So we have two different attribute symbols here. We have like the smiley face one and then another one. Uh, this one gives 100 power, I guess. Do you hear the dogs? <laughs> um... Yeah, so different strengths and stuff like that. And then this one is called Blaze Swords. This one's called Flare Axe and Smash Hammer. Um, I'll get to what I have to say in a second, but we'll see these pictures here. There are different colors and stuff, so that's interesting. We've also got this version of Dragonoid. I This one's called Sunslinger. Uh, same dragon symbol, but now we've got this symbol on top of it. So, I don't know if that means it's a dragon, like, beast, Bakugan with this symbol. Not 100% sure. Um, here we have Nilius. So, we know Nilius from the reboot, obviously. Uh, so, he's back, and he's got significantly more power, like 400 health, or 500 health compared to dragons, either 400 or 300. Um, so, pretty cool. I do like the cover art for this. It looks like he's in front of, like, a... Um, a like school or city or something like that so i don't know i really appreciate this scorch whips design very nice like nilius looks really good here um we've got hammerhead which looks like a combination between like a shark obviously like a hammerhead shark and like rhino from spider-man um pretty cool but we've got this move called shark cage very nice as you can see his symbol there is slightly different than what we've seen but they all have this smiley face symbol now curious enough nilius doesn't have that and neither does this new character named bruiser um so not sure what's going on but as you can see we've got this same uh, ability here flare axe and smash hammer as drago here um so i don't really want to I don't ha really have any comments on these new characters because we don't know what they look like yet, really, or like how they're going to work in the show. Um, so I think Hammerhead looks pretty cool, and Bruiser, I'm, I'm not sure. It's really hard to make out exactly what he is. Looks maybe like a giant like golem or troll type thing, but he's got the beast symbol, so um, with the paw. So debatable but what i do want to talk about is drago because we've seen a lot of iterations of drago and they're all different and they're all slowly getting more disappointing as time goes on uh so i don't know man like he just doesn't he doesn't feel like drago anymore i think this might be a better step in the right direction from like some of the reboot stuff i've seen but he just doesn't feel like a dragon anymore 
Like, especially like this one. I don't know what's really going on here. I don't know if it's like armor or like power up move or if it's titanium dragonoid because it doesn't say the name. It just says dragonoid. So what is the difference between this one and this one besides like gear or a boost or something like that? But he looks huge and bulky, which is fine, I guess. But he just doesn't look like Draco. And that's pretty disappointing to me. Um... Yeah, I, I, I need to see more art and stuff. This is just like the first kind of cover art we've gotten. So, not not sure how I'm feeling. Right now, I'm a little disappointed. But, like, I want to wait until we actually get it in our hands. Because it, it couldn't end up being really good. Um, just right now, I'm like, I want to see Legacy Drago. I want to see a dragon. Not some kind of, like, bulky, humanoid crocodile with wings you know what i mean like he i don't know i don't want to get into much into it i don't want to like dump on it too much because we don't know exactly what it's all going to look like but let's move on to the next leaks um so we've got again this is uh Man mantis mantis mantanoid whatever his name was mantanoid i think um and we get to see more of the cards so they seem to be kind of attribute based which is good uh, we've got obviously like Pyrus with the lava, Aquas with like this underwater or like, you know, kind of Atlantis themed like cavern type thing. Um, we've got land and then desert. So probably Subterra or like something like that. Uh, there's even like a little fossil down here if you can see that. So it looks like they're basing attributes off this instead and not 100% sure, but we get another look at the speed the heart and then the like punchings of power probably my best guess is based off these card leaks here whatever part of the card you land on you might get to increase this uh health speed or like power so like as you can see here drago's got 300 health uh 300 speed and 100 punch or whatever this might be 500 but it's blurry um it says 300 here so again you can detach the card so not sure um but it seems like you land on this and you probably either either a get to use it or b it increases in some ways so not sure t exactly how it's going to work but i don't know the cards seem a little generic um like there's not a whole lot of design to them which isn't necessarily a bad thing um there's a symbol here too not sure what that's about but um, I'm curious to see how it plays because obviously to get that power, you have to strategically land on it. Like this one's got one, two, three, four different spots it can land on. Two hearts and then the, the speed and the power. So it's like getting to land on one of those for your Bakugan is going to be like super key to the game. So curious to see how that goes. Um, it might be better if they spin. I, like I said, I don't know. You know, having them spin to try and land on these might make it more fun. Uh, really up in the air until we actually get our hands on it and get to use it. But I am, I am a little optimistic about this part of the game. Like so far, the designs like 50/50 on, but this part seems pretty good. I am kind of optimistic to see how that works. Um, now here's the big leak. Uh, <laughs> so we actually get a first look at the characters, some of the characters. So we have Dan, of course. We have a guy named Backlash. We have Juno and Mia. Uh, so we're going to go across the board here. Obviously, Dan's first. He comes first. Uh, he looks like he's grown up some, <laughs> um, which is kind of exciting. Uh, now this, we actually get a better look at Drago. And like I said, he looks like more like a crocodile or a dinosaur than anything else. Now, if they're going for a dinosaur beast themed show, this is acceptable. I think that's not bad. Um, wings are a bit debatable. But overall, like, if that's the design they're going for, I can accept it. Um, otherwise, I want to see regular Drago back. Um, but Dan seems to give 400 power to Dragon, and there's, like, a fire symbol. It could also be, like, a poop symbol here. Not really sure. It's, it's kind of blurry, and I can't really tell what it is. Um, but, yeah, 100 health and then 100 power. And then, of course, we get his design, which, I mean... I like it. It's hard to tell from really close up, but he looks good. Like, he looks grown up. It's a different art style, which is totally fine um, than the anime one we're used to. And he's definitely different from the reboot. It's like, it's like Dan from the Legacy series, like, got a good haircut and grew up, like, 
a couple years. So, I don't know. I'm excited about this. Here we have Backlash with some kind of spider Bakugan, I assume. And then again, like, this clearly looks like a bug symbol. So, obviously, bug. Um, 100 to health, 100 to speed, I think. Um, he looks like the like antagonist of the show, just based on Bakugan like uh, themes, like Masquerade had a mask, um, like pretty much all through the legacy, they all kind of wore a mask. Even even Spectra had a mask, like a little like like face mask. Uh, and then in the reboot, not as familiar with the uh, antagonist, but kind of just following like he looks like he looks like the bad guy. Uh, but digging the purple and and green theme, I'm cool with that. And uh, Backlash, I assume that's his name, maybe? So I don't know if that's a code name or whatever, but pretty cool. Here we have Juno. So there are two different cards here. Like with Dan's, it's the same card. Uh, but with Juno's, they're different. So this one gives power, and then this one's her, whole, her, and this one's her holding a like Pyrus Bakugan. Well, Pyrus. Um, so 300 to health, 300 to power, you can see there. And then the 100 to speed and 200 to health. And then, like, it's vice versa. Um, so, not exactly sure how these work. Um, but we get to see the characters, which is really cool. Juno looks pretty good. Uh, she, I like the baggy pants, like the street pants, kind of. Like the parachute pants, I guess they're called. That's pretty cool. Vest looks good. She reminds me a little bit of Julie. But, like, if Julie was more of, like, a tomboy, I guess, that'd be pretty cool. Um, so, I'm, I'm digging it. Got the ponytail going, and it looks like she's reaching out to catch something. Yeah, I don't know. I like the design. I think it's I think it's a step in the right direction here. Um, looks like she's in some kind of valley or something. So it definitely, I'm getting a feeling like this is jungle themed. Um, so like jungle themed, you know, desert themed, like each different like environment is very like beast like. So we'll see. I don't know, but I like this. And then we have Mia, which. Again, like, I'm digging it, you know, we got, we have a, a pink-haired anime girl, I guess, but, um, I like it. So, she's given 100 to speed, I guess. That's a fire symbol, though, so I don't know if it's speed exactly. I'm not quite sure. And the 200, what we assume is power, but she's reaching out to grab a health thing, so, again, don't know what that means, but really cool. And then, uh, yeah, her design, she's got, like... It's almost the opposite, actually. She's got, like, the big baggy uh, sweatshirt, but then probably, like, shorter pants while these are, like, the parachute pants. So, I'm cool with it. Uh, the pink and blue themes, like, very cotton candy-esque, which I like. I like the color combinations here. I think that's, that's probably the big thing here is, like, all the color combinations are great. Like, Dan is red and black. We got this uh, complementary, like, green and purple. Pink and blue, and then orange and like a, a blackish, like maybe deep brown, but it looks black. So I'm cool with it. I, I really like it. I think it's a, a so far a step in the right direction. Uh, just unsure about Drago's design because I feel like Drago is the big one here. Is like everyone always debates which version of Drago is the best, which design is the best, and I don't know. We need to see more because Drago is not always the same in the cover art that he's going to be on the show. Hello, this is Jesse from the future mid-editing. Uh, some some more pictures got dropped, and I wanted to quickly throw them into this video. Uh, so we get a better look at some of these more special attack Bakugan. They have rip cords, and these big, like, this looks like a hammer and, like, axe. Uh, fire, and then another hammer and axe, but just a different color, and then, like, some kind of blades or something. Uh, yeah, very Beyblade-esque, which I personally am not a fan of, but I mean, hey, if the game plays better, then maybe it's worth it. But yeah, it, it feels very much like Beyblade, um, but very cool. Got some, like, I don't know if they're elemental or clear or whatever, or this might be a diamond, but they look pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I may not be the biggest fan of the whole ripcord and kind of like blade and battle axe thing. But uh, the colors and designs look very good here. And then moving on, uh, I mentioned earlier in the video how the cards can detach. Here is just like another example of how that works. Uh, so the tops come off and then um, the bottoms are obviously separated too. Uh, and then kind of just see like a better display of how they all work. But I believe this is the same image with this, just more like a drawn out one. So it's like a further view. 
And then lastly, we've got this guy, which is, I believe this is Drago. And you can see, I guess you can mix and match them. So it seems like the top of Drago sits on some kind of spinning piece. And then you got the, the battle and like blade, like the hammer and ax thing. So pretty cool. Um, again, this does not feel like Bakugan. I don't even know how this goes into ball form. Um, yeah, but those are just extra leaks that I found while recording this video, so I wanted to make them. And uh, now we're going back to the regular uh, scheduled programming. Goodbye. We will see, I guess, as more leaks drop. But that is pretty much all I've got for this video. Um, what do you guys think of the leaks? They are, they are something. They are a step in the right direction, I personally think. I'm excited to see what comes out of it. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And other than that, I'll go ahead and end this video. My name is Jesse. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to just subscribe. Peace out.